Can you guys see this? Yes, you can. I'm wearing my onigiri earrings today. Today's the day! I'm excited because I'm going directly to an onigiri shop, so. We've wanted to ah. go to the shop for months. Yeah, we're gonna see what it's all about. I'm wearing my new hat. I like it, girl. Yeah. It spills a ladder. I think I have allergies. Uh oh, you're allergic to the summer heat. I hate this. It's October 5th. Why is it still 30 degrees in Japan? Don't like that global, global warming. Don't like that global warming there. One of our least favorite stations. Super busy all the time. Shinjuku Station has been under construction for the whole four years that we've been living here. I, I hate this station. And it's, <laughs> it's the worst station. I'm always lost. I always get stuck in a mall whenever I, I go I sincerely here. hope that we get to do a video soon where we're like, please redeem I Shinjuku. I need to learn how to navigate this place because yep. I'm still lost. Luckily, we're doing something pretty easy. We're hitting the JR line, the Yamanate line. That, there's like a circle loop that kind of goes around. Um, that one's real easy. It's a really inaccessible station. Uh, I'm standing beside what looks like the only elevator I've ever seen. Somehow you always end up going upstairs constantly. Yeah, it's the worst. You guys don't know, it's easier to say things into your phone with Japanese Siri. Onigiri bongo. That's right. I said onigiri bongo into my phone. This is where we're going. We're walking around this little curve from a bob, and then we're just going straight ahead and just hanging a left in the main intersection. When you come to America, you should go to Sizzler. We've got two for $18 steak plates. Shh. Corn on the side. Shh. And beans. I don't think they have beans, but you know what I'm doing? There's a Sizzler commercial. There's all those commercials. I yeah, they're them. always like upgrade to sodas and stuff. I don't remember them very well anymore, obviously, but. That's pretty terrible. Yep. yep. I'm about to wait in line for Onigiri. It's a big boy line this for me to big... handle. But we have to commit. Line. We have to commit to the line. That's the rule of Japan. Good places have lines, and on the weekends they are like usually tripled. So we're gonna wait it out, and you and I are gonna think about what of 50 toppings we're gonna have, so that when we get oh in there we don't gosh, panic. I'm okay? So ready. They have like so many different toppings. Like it's very unusual the kind they have. Like they have curry and they have like buta kimchi. Like they have cheese, so you can make and mix toppings, but you can also go traditional. So this is gonna be so good. Yep. I had a snack. <laughs> Sorry, I had a half pear for breakfast. What did you have, Simon? I had nothing. I had a gulp of water and some black nothing. coffee. We can do this. We're gonna smash some ramen after this. Oh my god. Jeez this Louise. Isn't gonna be enough. Hey. We can do this. We've had tons of things and we've handled it. We can play a game or we could just turn off the camera, listen to music, and cry to ourselves for the next 25 <laughs> minutes. What do you think? Music. <laughs> How can I live? What do we do when we wait in line instead of 
talking to each other. We look at menus and pictures of the food that we're about to eat online. Yes, so I can see the menu in advance. Yeah. It's top 10, so it's salmon, sumuko, and they've got egg. This is like a juicy egg. Nama tarako, and so they've got combos, right? So this is niku soboru, and this is egg. So I mean, you gotta plan it out, yeah. Look at this lineup. It's literally gotten worse. You need to know what you're gonna. It's so much longer. It's so much longer. Yeah. So you longer. need to know what you want. People are leaving. Yes, this is us. All right, time for us to dozo. Hi. Okay, I have a confession to make. I've been very scared to tell you how excited I am about this because you know, onigiri is like one of my all-time favorite Japanese foods. And I'm just scared that I'm gonna hype myself up and then be like let down. So I'm just kind of being like, stay cool, Martina. Like meeting a celebrity food. Hey, look at all the happy faces around. Everyone who's eating one is I grinning know. from ear to ear. I know. All right, this is gonna be great, girl. This is your dream. I know. This is your dream I'm food. I'm so excited. <laughs> so many choices. Oh, I definitely panicked because there's so many other things that I would love to do here. The Kyari Buki looks so good. Oh, they have like a Maguro Kakuni. The Maguro Kakuni looks really good. And you can get one that with the sweetened ground meat. Niku Soboro. Oh, that looks so good. I gotta just blow on this for 20 minutes. Yeah. But I'm so hungry. Do it, girl. It's insanely hot. <laughs> it's lava. It's, it's magma. magma. Okay, A be single careful. onion touched my lip and began to sear like salted caramel burns. These are ours? I think these are ours that he's making. See, there's your egg. This is the bacon cheese curry one. I think it might be cocoa curry in a bite. Let's see. Ducky. I've never had only you like this before. Mm. Can I have some? Mm -hmm. Whoa, looks amazing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's chopped up perfectly so that you can chew it easily with each bite. I was worried the bacon might be like a big strip that would kind of fall out. I know. They've, I know. They've been thoughtful about it. Mine tastes like a TKG. I want to try yours. It's unbelievable. Yours looks so good. I just need one more bite before I give it to you okay. because it's so good. It's, it's like I wish I could have this every day. I eat TKGs almost every day. Let's see how this tastes. Right. Wow. I know. Mm. So good, right? That egg yolk, the saltiness of it. It's like a butter almost. This is amazing. I can't believe somebody took something so casual and has elevated it so much. Yeah, it's like having gourmet sandwiches. Mm -hmm. We're going for gourmet onigiri. Mm. I have a lot of excitement for this one right here because this is Megi Toro with shiso miso, which is pretty much in the morning. What I usually have is tuna with some green onions and I put shiso miso in anyway. I should mention that this is raw tuna. So it's like breakfast in a How does this taste compared to my breakfast? Let's see. Much, much better. Mm -hmm. Where did they get their shiso miso? This shiso miso is so much better than ours. Holy shit. You shouldn't have crossed the road. Now you're going to be... I have to ask them. This is great, great miso. I don't think you can ask them. Oh my god. This is... Guys, you have to come here. This is really good. Mentaiko mayonnaise. So mentaiko are really, really tiny fish eggs. They mix them with their own mayonnaise and a little bit of like spicy hot pepper, like a seafood risotto. It's creamy. It's got that fish taste, but it's not like um, in your face fishy. A shrimpy kind of light taste with mayo. It's so, 
It's so good. <laughs> Look at all the little dots of mentaiko in there. You see all that? Wow, this looks. All this rice is just glistening. Oh my god. Was that delicious? Mmm. Right? Kimchi jjigae is my feeling. Mm -hmm. When we put a little squirt of mayonnaise on our kimchi jjigae back oh in Korea, god. do you remember? It's like a kimchi jjigae onigiri. That's with exactly mayo. it. I know. Mayo inside your kimchi. Yeah. Ducky, that's brilliant. I know. I know. Okay, guys, we're gonna get to eating more of these uh, and we'll have more comments later, but like, we're so hungry and we love you and thank you for watching this far, but I am so hungry, so I just gotta stop vlogging. Wow. That was fantastic. That was so much better than I expected it to be. I know that a lot of people are gonna be saying, you know, okay, so let me get this straight. It's just white rice with something in the center and then more rice and then seaweed. And I know, yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yes, it's basis, right? but it's more than that. Imagine just a really good sandwich shop that yeah. just does things with very good bread, mm -hmm. very good cheeses, mm -hmm. very good insides. Like a sandwich shop, yeah, yes. exactly. Like a good sub store or something. And this was the best quality onigiri I've ever had in my life. Yeah. I'm broken now. I don't think I could go back to 7-Eleven. And so the then rice I tried was to go so back. fluffy and like yes. separate. None of it was because dense. You just gotta try to make one at home, which yeah. we've done a lot of. Oh and they're my gosh. always dense. Yeah. Like, and th it was perfectly cooked rice. So it was super soft, but not overcooked. And then he salted the side of the yeah. seaweed. Did the you notice rice, that? The, the, the seaweed had just the right crunch. It wasn't like, sometimes they bite into an onigiri yeah. and the seaweed fights and you got a little <laughs> tug of war going on. <laughs> but this seaweed. one just gave away. Yeah. I think the way I can describe it is, um, there are so many types of seaweed. Right. So many types. Exactly. You can think that gentleman went by with the poodle with pink and blue body dye on him. The poodle has cotton candy pink That's ears. very true. The blue. Please tell me, was this wide enough hair. that everybody could see him? Are you, do you remember your Onigiri Bongo song? Onigiri Bongo, Nihongo, the line is very long go. That's my impersonation of MIA. Thank you for listening to my budding rap career. <laughs> no, not this again. If you want to check this place out, we left a link to it in the info box below and we've also got some bloopers from this video. Or, if you want to learn a whole lot more about Onigiri, Martina really, really loves it and made a whole video in stop motion dedicated to it. She wasn't joking, Onigiri is a really big deal for her.